Howdy ho friends, welcome to attempting to put the cover on the dome. <laughs> Why I say that is putting the dome together was pretty much freaking comical. A lot of mistakes were made. Okay, let's talk about this cover here. It is actually a pattern. It was never meant to be on the dome for long-term usage. Unfortunately, I cannot go into the city and buy some marina fabric. As you know, we're under lockdown. Plus, I'm pretty sure the store that I get it from is closed right now. So, we're just going to use this. One problem, it has no tie-downs on it. Like I said, it was meant to be a pattern, so I didn't think about putting tie-downs on. So, we're going to do that too. First, we're going to attempt to get it on the dome itself, which should be darn interesting. <laughs> and then after we get it on, we're going to attach it to the dome. Surprisingly, the tarp went on much easier and much faster than it did putting the dome together. Let's go take a look at what we have here. <laughs> ah. oh. And I'm going to tell you right now, it's getting warm in here quick because I do not have a ventilation system hooked up. In fact, I might go grab a, a temperature gauge and put in here and see how that's doing. Anyway, so we got everything pretty much lined up. As you can see, the pancakes go in the middle of the struts like this here so what i think i'm going to do and yes we need to do some patchwork too i've seen some some sections that need that but that's not a big deal I'm, honestly i think this would make a really good cover I don't, well, yeah we got some holes right there no worries though uh but you can tell down here i got the lines drawn drawn on it and that's because the original well, the Gen 1 design goes underneath here and then got staked down on the inside of the dome. I don't think I want to do that this time. What I want to do is get these all lined up, pop a hole through there, put in a grommet, and then attach it to here where the anchor is, and then put down the ground anchor to hold it on, and then tuck the rest of it underneath the dome. I think. <laughs> Good thing it's hot today. You know, I might have to go get some tent sticks. Yeah, maybe not. But we're going to start pretty much from the back side here. And then we're going to go from this back. Make sure everything's lined up before I start popping holes in it. Make it lined up all the way down to the center here. And then we're going to start on the front. And then I'm not sure how I'm going to attach that. Originally, I kind of want to, I don't want to get it too taut. Thank God the sun's out and heating it up. But pull it down and attach this section here. And then what we're going to do is put in, yeah, we got some pancakes we can work with. Uh, I don't think we're going to use the big pancakes. Oh, there we go. We got some of the little more, little pancakes. And I think these are going to be perfect. Ouch. Ooh, a little back pain for doing that. Uh, one slight technical problem. Oh, this is the tarp I liberated from that camp. The people trashed up uh, out at the river. And if we need more pancakes, we can go ahead and cut that up because this is a free tarp. Uh, back to the problem. I've only got maybe, maybe that much 3M90. That's the best stuff in the world. Then we got some very old cans of 77. Not as good great for holding speaker carpet on things but i don't know but we could use that for now because obviously we can't go to the hardware store and then <laughs> later on down the road we'll just go ahead and replace those or put build a new tarp for it uh, oh and here's the grommets i'm going to use these will fit these are the real brass ones i think i got more of them i think this is the half inches, I'm pretty sure. If not, I got the half. Yeah, there's more half inch there. What else do we have in the goodie box? Yeah, those are the crap grommets. I don't want to use those right now. Oh, we got more. Yep, half inch. So these got to be one inches. So we're going to use the one inch grommets.
Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is find out where the uh, my marker went. <laughs> here it is. Find out where the bolt is, which is right here. And I double check to make sure that the inside pancake was centered on the struts. And my marker is falling apart. <laughs> then we're going to mark it, which is right about there. Now, on this one, I'm discovering that the 3M90 is not really sticking like I'd like it to. Let's figure that nice and tight. Right about there. So, actually, it's going to be right there. Uh, because it's so cold out. Yeah, the temperature is starting to drop. So this one, what I want to do is cut from here across. Actually, we're going to go ahead and spray this now. We'll let it start setting up. It does take a couple minutes. And there we go. Put a little syrup on the pancake. Let that set. Now, what I'm going to do, there's the bolt. So we're going to cut from here across, cutting that excess off. Like so. Now we wind up, and the next thing we're going to do, that's it work. That's the hole we're going for. Yeah, that's not even close to ready. <laughs> that's right, friends, we're going to rush it. Ew. <laughs> Fold our pancake like so, and the bolt will go through right about there. Tap that down a little bit. So, now 3M's getting sticky. Look at that crap. <laughs> oh, well. No worries. Put that in there. And if you never put a grommet in a tarp before, I'm going to tell you straight up, it's pretty freaking simple. Especially when you use the good ones. Alright. Get that in. Did we get it? Yes, we got it. Awesome sauce. Fits perfectly. Okay, next thing, we're going to get a mount. Put that in. And in the pocket. Washer. Nut. Wrench is missing. <laughs> yeah, I got a wrench around here somewhere. Oh, there it is. In the socket. 
Tighten it up. Now we're not going to torque the heck out of it. We're just going to get it pretty snug. We need a little flexibility. Give the dome a nice shake. Then we're going to put in our ground acre. Okay, now we need to take all our goodies and run inside and make sure our centers are lined up. Alright, the next thing, if you notice, we are off a little bit on the pancake. Not a big deal. The strut is still in the middle of it, so we're not going to really worry about that right now. Uh, we need to patch that up, obviously. So the next thing I want to do is we're going to pull this under and tighten it up a bit. See how we're tightening that uh, panel. Now, normally I would use these stakes right here, the longer ones, but they're in my storage unit and I'm not going to go get them right now. We'll probably get them later. So, we're going to pound this little guy in here. And then pound this little guy in here. And we stretched this section out. I want it tight, but not too tight. All right, now we need to check our alignment real quick. So we're gonna start from that pancake in the middle of the strut. We're gonna come up. That one's lined up really well. We're gonna keep coming up the center one. I would say that's almost perfect. I probably should put an extra pancake right there at the top. And then we're gonna come down here to this section. This is good. Actually, it needs to come over a little bit, I think. Then that's good right there. Right, that needs to be in front. So let's check our pancakes here. That one is okay. So I think we'll do this next. We'll pull that over a bit. Yeah, that's actually really good. So what we're going to do, in fact, that's that's perfect where the lines are see this right here is where the bacon strips would have went but we didn't do that um, all right so I'm gonna do this one then that one over there and then we're gonna come back in and try to give this whole thing a tug forward which theoretically should line this up and this up over here and the same on that side. Actually, if we tug here, yep, that will do it. That'll line it up perfectly. All right, so we do need to definitely do this end and that one before we line the rest of the pancakes up. I know I'm not going to have enough little pancakes to do all the outside without cutting more, and I don't want to cut that other tarp up unless I absolutely have to. So I found some of these uh, big pancakes that are not glued all together yet. So we're going to use one of these little guys, or actually big guys, instead of that. Ah. <laughs> this is not going to be perfect. <laughs> oh, my lantern. We are a little off, no worries. But I did wait for a while for this one to dry, so it should stick better. Unfortunately, it is still, the temperature is still dropped. Oh, there, yeah, that stuff really good. And I'm going to put it down one last time and make sure we got the hole right. Oh, yeah, that stuff. Okay. So, the little guy's right about full taut. Right there. Put a nice indention in so we can see it.
now we're back inside checking our alignment so far well, it's still a little off not bad not bad not bad and now we got that attached and that is attached so what we're going to do here on this so I'm trying to make do with what we have to work with. I think I've got enough left out. What I did was I sprayed this with the uh, 90, and I think I'm going to be able to fold it over and let it stick upon itself. Yeah, that's going to work. Then once that happens, yep, it's sticking. Thank, yeah, thank the man upstairs. <laughs> And then we're going to put our grommets in. That way, we do not have to waste any of the pancakes. So we're probably going to put a grommet here and a grommet there. So we did exactly to this side is what I did to the other one. We folded it over. And you can see that my poles are lining up freaking perfectly where the bacon strips would have originally went. So let's get this guy sticked in. Now, you don't want to pull this down tight. I mean, torque the heck out of it. You want it uh, tight, but a little loose. You got to give this material some room to move around. If you get it too tight, what's going on here? <laughs> if you get it too tight, it's going to rip the grommets out. And probably rip the tarp at this weakest point. There we go. Okay, now it's time to check our alignment again. That is off. That is way off. And so is that. But if we come to this side, perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, there's two reasons why we're off that far. Our first one is this never, this cover was never intended to be a dome cover. It was just a pattern. What I should have done when I made it it's got everything set up and then went ahead and put in all the final grommets and that would have never happened so we're kind of working with what we got here plus the ground is a little crooked and that has somewhat to do with it but not much and we do have some wrinklets here too we need to pull out not a big deal okay so what we're going to do now is we're going to start we're going to do that triangle tighten it up come in check our alignment and just go on and so on and so forth till we come up here and then we're going to come over here and do the same thing there and we are going to be moving pretty quick because it's getting close to dinner time
I know the other one's bigger, but what's wrong with this dome? <laughs> Wrong it's not big enough. It's not big enough for you. <laughs> You're in your sexy shoes. <laughs> yeah, big bucket of chicken it is. <laughs> Very happy with this side. Everything is lined up perfectly. Not so much over there. We got some work to do. <laughs> not a big deal though. We can fix it. Now we're to a very crucial point, the entryway. We need to get this locked into place and we need to pull it nice and taut. But we also need to be very careful up here because this is where we're gonna put in a, uh, another grommet to hold this top piece on. And the reason for that is one thing I did notice on one of the older tarps, as the wind blows over the top, it starts to lift this up, which is not good. It puts a lot of extra wear and tear on the tarp itself. So I think, we're gonna do, pull that tight, do this first, and then we'll go down and then do the door next. One small pancake on the outside. Oh, it's getting cold. 3M is not wanting to stick. Then on the inside, I'm going to do the same thing. Ah, there's a little baby pancake. <laughs> Even my duct tape's cold. Woo! Now the fun part. We gotta pop a hole in that sucker. What's it in the air like that? Yeah, this should. Oh no! <laughs> this should be darn interesting. Yeah, we did it. <laughs> Success. Oh, but we're not done yet. So what I'm gonna do is got the little bitty block right here. I'm gonna put a little piece of duct tape on her. And mount it on that stud. Hopefully, if we get it centered right, yep, this might work. And then again, may not. We'll find out. Guess what just happened? Almost. I'll be darned. Look at that. It worked. <laughs> okay, then we're just going to figure out where the heck to... There it is. Now, I'm going to put a washer on the inside so that won't... Pull through. Yeah, that'll work. Wash around the inside. 
Oh, that's going to be freaking perfect. Very happy. Washer on the outside. Hmm. And then we just gently tighten that down. <laughs> Very happy. <laughs> okay, now we need to move down to the bottom. Now this one's going to be a little interesting. We can use the seam, so I don't think we have to put on a pancake. Ugh. Yeah, I think we can do that without a pancake. Let's try it right about there. Looks good. Oh, almost by that grommet. Can you believe that? <laughs> right there. So close. Okay, here we go. Let's see if it'll work. Tuck this. Under. Oh my God, that sucker is really. <laughs> Tuck that underneath. Put it in. Put the list there. Well, so far so good. So tie it out. Perfect. Well, friends, I think I'm going to go ahead and call it a night. <laughs> We've gone as far as I can go. Uh, I ran out of 3M90. The 3M77 is just not sticking anymore. And all we got left to do, really, is this section here, that section there, and I need to put some uh, more tent stakes in, but that's about it. So, friends, I shall see you tomorrow.
Hey friends, welcome to day two. Uh, things got interesting last night. We had some high winds and some rain come through here. And heck, the temperatures dropped way off. We had uh, sleet and ice along with thunder. So I guess you would call that thunder snow. I came out here and checked on the dome to see how she was doing. And great. No leaks to speak of. And yes, I did go through and throw some duct tape on some questionable spots. But I, one thing I noticed when the wind was hitting her real hard, these side panels are trying to suck out, which is not good because it'll let the wind come on the inside and then it's going to start lifting on the dome. Not a good thing. So, uh, so I temporarily uh, attached these clips to them and staked them down and that solved the problem. Another thing I did notice, yeah, I'm cleaning up my mess, <laughs> that it's probably not going to be a bad idea to put a stake or a grommet and a stake right here in the middle to keep that taut because these were flexing quite a bit too and they tried to lift a bit but yeah, not much well you can see on this one here see where she's trying to lift <laughs> so that's going to be something in the future probably not going to do it now because i need to save all my grommets for the uh, front door which will be the next video um okay we got everything put in Oh, I was checking this out when I was sitting here. You can see the panel design. How each one of the panels are cut for the cover. I thought that was pretty cool. <laughs> but anyway, yeah. I need to put that on a CAD program so people know how to cover a dome. But it's really simple. Let's go outside and take a look at her. Do, 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 do. Ouch. Yeah, everything is freaking soaked and it is cold out here. The temperature as of right now is uh, 32 degrees. Yeah, right above freezing. In fact, nope, I melted all the ice off of her. These held up great in the wind. I was a little concerned about them pulling out and leaking. No problems whatsoever. I think I'm going to flip this around on the inside. That way I'll have the stud sticking out and that will help with the uh, temporary door. And all the anchors held tight. No problems. Nothing ripped out. You can see how the dome is breathing right there. That's from the wind coming in and out. Well, actually, it's from the wind blowing over the top. If you kind of look, you can see how the top is breathing a bit. But nothing has moved. I was kind of concerned about this guy. Still nice and taut all the way around. that's good <laughs> and this one didn't move at all and I did put some bricks there last night because I was afraid the water was going to run down and go in but it didn't the ground pretty much soaked it all up I need to tuck this back in we can feel that heat wow uh, but no leakage whatsoever is surprisingly comfortable for being a temporary cover for the dome I'm very happy with it would it survive a severe thunderstorm with high winds I think so after I added the extra grommets and put a temporary door in to keep the wind from blowing in here but I'm very happy very happy well friends this is gonna wrap this video up in the series the next one will be making a temporary door and maybe a permanent one if I can get my hands on some uh, PVC tubing. I'm not sure. They tightened the restrictions here in the Midwest. So I'm pretty much not going anywhere. All right. <laughs> Comments are welcome. If you got questions or tips, please leave them in the comment section. Like always, friends, thanks for watching.